All righty, this is a session recap for the 14th day of March. Today we watched as we had uh, unemployment and it drove the currency up here. Now here's the place they got to talk to us right here. You got to talk to us here. You either got to be over and shoot it down or you're going to have to break out. All right, so they got to talk to us here. So we're nearing the end of this dollar index. Right? We can't, you know, if we were trading a dollar, we couldn't buy it here, but we could try it. We could do a break hook and go out. We could buy it. All right. What's the same price? No, it's, yeah, same price, but this is a top and that's a bottom. All right? uh, uh, let's see, Robin, ATRs are very low, but it's a fantastic time to live, learn. It's a long view. Exactly right. There you go, Robin. So, you know, knowing how to do real estate in the week trades could drastically change all of your trading here. And you realize when I get into low ATRs, if I'll take a different view of the market, as opposed to trying to get in the market and get out today, if I'll say, I want to be in for this whole thing. I want to be in for this whole thing. I want to be in for this whole thing. Then you're in good shape. Okay? Uh, Marin, uh, fright reigns in every trader's journey, but will eventually subside as you do the work. That's exactly right, Marin. Practice, practice, practice. Good stuff from traders today, right? So we're at, a, we're, at a, we're at a critical point here. It could be over or it could be just a start. Right? Yeah, good. yeah. the market gives us a lesson every day. My job is to try to figure the lesson out. Your job is to listen to me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, going with dollar strength, as you can see, but it may be close to over, right? Your dollar, dollar strength, it goes the correlated opposite, goes to the downside. MACD is pointing down, right? Now, the ATR is so low on the euro dollar that you can't even trade it at this point. All right. So if you're trading the euro dollar, you're not paying attention. All right? ATR is only 48 pips. You don't even have 55 pips when you wake up in the morning. All right. At five o'clock tonight, you will not have 55 pips to trade this thing. All right. Nothing to do. Pound dollar. All right, now we took a different view on this one. We couldn't trade it this morning because we didn't have 55 pips, but we decided that there was another opportunity. If we would consider this trade one, this trade two, and this trade three, we could trade it as a real estate of the week trade as a swing trade. And we do probably have some traders doing that right now, all right? Looking for a hook back out and then. Now this is tonight's trade right in here. Trade two right there for, bit for uh, pound dollar has we get the ATR up here. Uh, pound dollar. There you go. 64 pips. Right? So not much more than 55. Right? But it is. Right, there you go. All right. We'll see what traders did. Let me put a little note on here just for that. Live trade question mark tomorrow. We'll see if anybody did it tomorrow. We won't do it today. Right. Where did that go? Over here. Hold on. Right, we'll see. All right, dollar Swiss are going to tell us what the dollar is doing. It's definitely all going up. It's too low in ATR. Only got an ATR of 45 pips. You can't trade it. Dollar yen should be going up. It is, but we don't have any room. We're almost a target right now with a 96 pip ATR. We're just shy of target right now. It'll definitely hit that before the day's over. Right? Aussie and New Zealand, you can't trade because the ATRs are too low. Your yen. All right, we're in this trade live to the downside, up a few pips right now. Looking for a target here of 166.74. And uh, Euro Yen has an ATR of 108 pips. Pound Yen, all right, underway here. We're also in this trade live, headed towards uh, 188.37. And Pound Yen has an ATR of 115 pips. Uh, Thomas, GU today, 40, 30, and 13 still in today for multiple days. Nice job, Thomas. Here you go. Thomas, way to go. There we go. <laughs> Good work. All right. Over to Aussie Yen. Tight, but we can trade it. We're almost a target right now. All right. We can't trade it this morning, right? Fast trackers, you know what that is right there. And uh, Aussie Yen, uh, 60 pip ATR. We're almost a target. Watch for the 60 pips down here tonight if dollar keeps going up. Remember, it went down with dollar. It's correlated against it. Went down when the dollar went up. If the dollar keeps going up, then you look down. What if the dollar stops and goes to the downside? Then watch for the bounce to the upside. 
All right, knowing your correlations will tell you what to look for. All right, your Aussie, we try to trade this, it just wouldn't go. It's just finally going down now, and then we break this. This top is one heck of a top, folks. You can see how hard this top is. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. All right, so they're trying one more time to break it up there, okay? Now, if they get a chance to break and hook and just open and close the candle here, then we'll look for the target. We'll look for the square up tonight, all the way up there. All right. Your Aussie 97 pip ATR. All right. So that'll be a good opportunity. Not now, but it'll be later today in the Sydney. It'll start. You get a new ATR at five o'clock. It'll be up in here and they got a square up. Now they got a chance to get the square up out. Switch in. All right. Got traders in this one to the downside. Looking good. And uh, we just opened and closed the candle again below this fib. So what's the information? We're trying to go down. We're trying to go down. We're getting a turn right here. We got plenty of room to the downside. The target is at 167.28 and Swiss Yen has 100 pip ATR. So this is why you want to trade that Swiss Yen because it's, it's one of the few that have a great ATR right now. So there we go. So, you know, learn it, learn to trade it. That's what I'm doing. I'm trading it almost every day. All right. Pound Aussie. Up we go. We're getting it. So uh, we bounced off the bottom. Look what it did. We talked about it this morning. All right. There's resistance, which will be support. All right. Remember that was a red candle pushing down through in the other, but going, oh, I don't know. But what did they do? They bounced on it and we're headed up right now. See that? You had to take it there. Yeah, and you had to have the confidence that you were going to get the bounce before the bounce ever happened. How do I learn that? I go do break, hook, and goes. Underway, target is at 94.10. We're going to hold for 94.27. And Pound Aussie has an ATR of 110 pips. You're in New Zealand, all right? Underway, all right? You got a break, hook, and go, all right? We're in the go. Target is at 78.33 right up there. And uh, your New Zealand has an ATR of 108 pips. Pound New Zealand, all right? It hasn't gone yet. It is a break and a hook, but it hasn't gone yet. I anticipate that it will. The target is up here, 208.50. Be careful, that's a day chart top. So it's already hit that once, right? So it's already out. Uh, so be, 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 get, be aware, that, that, that's probably the stopping point for it. Pound New Zealand ATR is 122 pips. New Zealand yen, right? Coming down, we didn't have enough room to trade it because we didn't have 55 pips, but there it is, it's underway. Looking for uh, 98, 9061, holding for 9050 down there. New Zealand yen has a 62 pip ATR. And Aussie Swissy, Pound Swissy, and Aussie New Zealand, you can't trade because none of them have ATRs bigger than 55 pips, right? So there we go. All right. 